Welcome back for the playthrough. We're ready to start. This is a worker placement game. It's a place one, take the action, take a worker, do that action also. Yep. Something along those lines. Let's get started. Player one, Mike. Oh, that's right. I am player one. As with all my playthroughs, we're going to explain the game as we play through it. If it's the first time we've done that action, we'll let you know how it works and what the mechanics are for it. And as the game playthrough progresses, we'll get moving faster and faster because we're not going to go over the same actions to let you know how they work. But we will talk about our strategy along the way. So for my first action, I'm going to take my worker, place it at the silversmith. And since it's a blue worker, you can see that I'm going to get three silver in return. If I were to place a gray or a red one, I would only get two. So I'll place my worker, take my three silver, and put it in there. So I'm going to pick up from the town center. What these two icons denote is, with this action, you can either discard a card from your hand, taking this action from your crew member, or you can take this action here, which denotes you can take your hero's action, or with an eagle, and we'll explain that later on in the game when that happens. And since I'm taking my hero's action, you can see the icon matches here, and this allows me to take one silver, one kumis, one provision, and one card. Mike has completed his turn. I'm going to take my worker and take my first action, which will be here at the barracks, where I can pay the silver to recruit one of my crew. Or if I have any kumis, which looks like this little chalice, I can remove two wounds from my crew. I'm going to recruit the warmonger at the cost of three silver. This tent symbol denotes how much strength the warmonger has. And this is the action that I will take when raiding. So if I'll gain one victory point when raiding Chimera. This would be the action if I were to discard the card. I'll place them in my empty crew spot. You can put them in any empty spot. There's no restrictions. And that will cost me three silver. I'll pick up the worker at the meeting tent, which allows me to draw two cards or one card and two kumis. I will take the one card and two kumis option. We've both taken our first turn, which brings us back around to Mike and we'll continue to take turns back and forth throughout the game. We forgot to mention, too, that the winner is a person with the most victory points at the end of the game, as with most games. Sorry about that. For my action, I'm going to place my worker at the farm, and since I'm placing a blue worker, or if it was a gray worker, I am getting two provisions. If it was a red one, I'd be taking three provisions or a wagon. My action, I'm going to be buying the Armorer as I pick up from the barracks. As you can see early in the game, there's a lot of getting your resources built, getting your crew out, and getting ready to go on these raids in Chimera, Syria, Persia, and Greece. We'll get to that soon, but first we have to have this back and forth to kind of get ready to have the provisions and the wagons and different things that we need along the way. For my action, I'm going to go to the meeting tent, and this time I'm going to draw two cards. I've drawn my two cards, put them in my hand, and I'm going to pick up from the silversmith to gain three silver. Right now I'm just building up the resources so I can purchase more cards for more crew and get ready to raid. All right, so I'm going to be raiding here in Chimera. I'll be placing my blue worker uh, in one of the spots here. I'll be taking the right one. And just to explain raiding, the requirements are directly next to where you place your worker. This is stating that we have to have at least two crew members and we need to pay three provisions. Also, this is going to be the power that we need to roll. If we roll uh, less than four, we'll be taking one wound in addition to anything on the dice, which we'll explain. And if we get four or more, we will be rewarded with one victory point. So I'm placing my worker. I will take all the plunder from that spot, putting it into my resource pile. You take the quest, flip it over, and then you also take the worker from that raid. 
Next to the name of the area you're rating, you'll see a symbol that denotes which and how many dice. In this case, it's one red die. And if we look down here at Assyria, we would have to roll one red and one white. So Mike is going to have to roll one red die in addition to two gold dice since I picked up two gold from the plunder. Every time you pick up a gold from the plunder, you have to roll one die for each gold you pick up. One yellow die. Right, maximum of two. So I'll roll my dice. I rolled a three plus two wounds. In addition to the total strength from my crew members, which is four, which gives me a total of seven. And because his total strength on the dice and his crew is more than four, he will gain one victory point, giving him a commanding lead of one. That's right. And because I rolled three dice wounds, I need to distribute three wounds. I will be placing two on the armorer and one on the huntsman. Also, just to explain wounds, for each wound per crew member, it subtracts that number from their strength. And you can see here that the Huntsman has a strength of one. And even though there is one wound here, the Huntsman is still alive. If at any time you have to take a wound and you're already maxed out on wounds on that crew member, then they will be killed. Mike got the first raid of the game. I'm going to take my action. And I'm going to go here to the town center and take my leader action. My leader... When I take that action, allows me to take two town center actions. For my two actions, I will discard two cards from my hand with the discard action. Here at the destroyer, when I discard them, will gain me one equipment. And the merchant will gain me another card and a silver. And then I'll pick up from the farm and gain two provisions. I got some provisions. I got some silver. Got more crew members. I'm getting ready to raid soon. But before that, it's Mike's turn. Placing my worker at the farm, taking two provisions. And then I'm going to pick up from the town center. And then I'm going to discard the Avenger to remove all wounds from one of my crew members. You're welcome, Armorer. I got what I need now, my worker. It's time to raid. We're going to come here to Chimera. I'm going to go to the right side, grab my plunder, flip that quest over. Grab my worker. It's going to cost me two provisions, and I do have the two crew members that I need. Raiding Chimera only requires me to roll one red die. I didn't pick up any gold, so no gold dice will be rolled. I add two strength on and two wounds. My champion has four, and my warmonger has three. With that two I rolled, gives me a total of nine. I only needed six or higher to get to that one victory point. And my Warmonger gets me an extra victory point when raiding Chimera, which will gain me two victory points, thus erasing Mike's commanding lead. I finally got my raid on, got some points. What's Mike gonna do now? Let's find out. My next action, I'm also going to raid once again. I'm going to take my plunder, which is two gold and a wagon, flip the quest, take my worker, and once again, since I got two gold in my plunder, I will also need to write, roll those two gold dice. And I rolled a three, two wounds. Good thing I rolled that three, because I only had three strength from my crew, which gives me a total of six, just enough for that one victory point. And I'll distribute my two wounds, both going to the armor. We're now tied at two. And I forgot to show on my turn the two wounds. I put one on the champion and one on the warmonger. I'm going to go ahead and complete a quest on my turn. I'm going to take my gray worker and come here to the chief's tent where you could exchange livestock for two provisions and a kumis or complete a quest. I'm going to complete this quest right here that requires one wagon and two equipment. And I will take that and put it face down for victory points at the end of the game. I completed a quest, but I won't get ready for a raid, so I'm going to pick up from the farm to gain two more provisions. My next action, I will raid the last spot, Pamir. Take my plunder, all of it, flip the quest tile, and take the worker. Since I'm trying to get the victory point with four strength at the end of my roll, you can spend one or more kumis to gain one strength per kumis spent. 
And that has to be done before you roll. Yes. Since the only strength that I have in my crew is one for the armorer, I spent one Kumis to give me one more for a total of two, which guarantees me that victory point. And that's because the lowest number on the red die is two. I'll roll, and I gained a three with no wounds. If you want to know what is on each face of the dice, they've put it here at the bottom of the board, the red die, the white, and the yellow, so you can kind of see what the distribution is before you roll. And as Mike mentioned, two was the lowest that he could roll there, so he was guaranteed himself strength of four to get that victory point from his raid. And I'll put him at three. Getting that commanding lead back. I need to get ready for some of these raids that are further down in the board. So I'm going to go to the barracks to recruit. I'm going to pay two silver to get the enforcer in my crew, which will let me take two less wounds when raiding Assyria. I'll pick up from the chief's tent. I'll pay one livestock to give me two provisions and a kumis. Before Mike takes his turn, let's take a quick look at the board. We've exhausted all of the raids in Chimera, so we're going to have to start going into Assyria, Persia, and Greece. The difficulty increases with the amount of strength you need to not only not take wounds, but get more victory points. So we need to build our crews, make sure we have enough provisions, bump the camera, make sure we have wagons and other items that we need to do those raids. I'll be placing my worker at the chief's tent to complete a quest. I will complete this quest, which requires two wagons, an equipment, and one livestock. And I'll be picking up at the barracks to buy another crew member. I will be adding the scout to my crew. I'm not quite ready to go raiding yet. I'm going to go to the barracks, spend one of my kumis, which will allow me to take two wounds off of my crew. And then I can remove both wounds, one from the warmonger and one from the champion. And I'll pick up here in the meeting tent to gain two cards. My action, I'm going to go to the stables. I'm going to pay two silver to gain an eagle from the lineup. In this case, since all three cards are the same, I'll be taking the one all the way to the left. And when one of the eagles or horses is taken, you will replace it with one from the draw deck. When placing your eagle or horse, you will either slide in from the bottom or from the top. And since this is an eagle, it'll come in from the top. You can assign an eagle to any of your crew as well as an empty space. You cannot move your animals once they have been placed though. Also of note, when you place your worker at the town center, since this icon is here, you are now allowed to take the action on your crew member under that arrow. In this case, it would be lose one kumis to gain three provisions. And I'll be picking up a worker from the market. This is the first time that we're going here. So just to show, this icon stands for discarding a card. In this case, I'll be discarding one card to gain two silver. If it was the bottom action, I could discard two cards to gain either a wagon or equipment. I'm going to go here to the town center, which allows me to do the discard action. We'll discard the gravedigger, which will allow me to swap one hired crew member that's already on my player board with one that's in my hand. And in this case, I will swap the warmonger, who was for gaining victory points when raiding Chimera. There's no more raids available there. And I'll bring in the strong man, which would have cost me four otherwise, so it's a way to save some silver at the same time. I'm going to pick up from the stables, and I will spend an equipment to gain a horse. I'll take this horse, which will give me two strength during raids and a victory point at the end of the game. I'll place it here with my champion and draw a new one. Thank you.